In this screencast I'll show you how to supply information about the input streams and the process conditions. So first of all stream S1 we right click on this and then press data entry. This brings up a window that allows us to define some information about the process stream. So we're going to go with composition defined flow rate and composition. This will be the total fluid flow rate in K moles per hour and we're going to put this as 1000 kilomoles per hour and we're going to have this as 0% methanol and 100% H2O. Click OK that has now gone blue, we've specified enough information in here but we do also need to specify some information about temperature and pressure so we'll have this at 298 Kelvin and so we've defined the temperature but we also need to specify some extra information we'll go with pressure and we'll put this at atmospheric pressure 101.33 kilopascals click OK and that stream, the, the label for that has now gone black. It was red before, showing that there needed to be some user input. And now that we've specified the flow rate, the composition, the temperature and pressure of that stream, the process simulator is happy with that stream. We need to do the same for stream two. So again, we can just go through. We'll give the overall flow rate as a thousand, but this time will be a hundred percent of methanol and zero for the H2O. And again, we'll supply some information. We'll go for two nine three Kelvin this time, and the pressure we put at. 101.33 atmospheric pressure again okay so again that stream has now been defined and the simulator is happy that it's got enough information to run the simulation from the point of view of stream 2 now in terms of process conditions the mixer has no specifications that are required but the pump does so again we have to right click press data entry and we have to specify either an outlet pressure a pressure rise or a pressure ratio over the pump so we'll specify a pressure rise of 100 kilopascals so one bar we also have to specify the pump efficiency we'll just leave that at 100 percent for now press ok and interestingly this pump the label is still red and the reason for that is that there's no output stream on the pump and there needs to be an output stream so that Pro2 can calculate the composition, the temperature, the pressure of that stream in the outlet. So if we click on streams, we click on that outlet nozzle and create a fourth and final stream, the pump label P1 has now gone black showing everything's been specified to a sufficient depth and level for the pump so that the simulator can actually run. Overall that is how you can supply information about the input streams and the process conditions.